All right, thanks for joining us as we have the second matchup of the night. We are heading back to Clubhouse to see Hated Knights versus Revenants Esports. So we have seen Thatcher and Maverick taking a lot of bans here. Earlier play days last week and even earlier just today. So we are going to start it off with a Maverick ban. Nothing too out of the usual. I'm just going to make it a lot harder for the attacking team to find their way into cash or getting rid of any of those hatches on the church arsenal hold. Now we will see Capital Band, which is pretty interesting, as that's going to get rid of a lot of utility for the attacking team. He's pretty instrumental on a lot of pushes. And he is very useful in getting the plant down, as he can use those smokes to cut off any lines of sight for the defending team. Mira will be banned. Once again, pretty typical. And we will see what Revenants chooses for the final ban here. And we will see Maestro taken off the board, which is probably going to give leeway to a lot of Valkyrie, Mozzie play possibly, lean on a lot of other defenders to get the info that is needed. It's also going to take the Alda off the board, which is pretty significant as that gun can do a lot of damage in the right hands. Now we're going to go straight down into Church Arsenal here. We will see a dual hard reach coming out from the attacking team, as expected. Let's see. Hi, he actually switches over to the Jaeger. Interesting. We have Vera, Ella, and Jaeger. A pretty frag heavy lineup. There we go. It's going to be a sixth pick off onto the Echo. That makes a lot more sense now. And they will also have Mozzie to aid him in getting a hold of any intel. As the round progresses, he may grab hold of a few drones, but he does need to stay alive in order to make any use out of those. Alright, so without a Kai, they are probably going to rely on impact tricking that kitchen hatch. as they have no other form of denial for that. Thus far, we're seeing a pretty standard setup in the basement. Five seconds to but they will have reinforced the wall that's right next to main entrance as we saw some of the attacking teams take advantage of that to being soft earlier today, which helped them sees an arsenal hold. All right, Ash is going to open up logistics right away, start droning out that top floor to get prepared to clear out any rumors that may be around. But looks like that L is going to get a kill right away, playing inside a stock with the shotgun. Entirely unexpected, and this is some very aggressive play, and she actually has bomb out here. And she's going to rotate into secret. I don't know if she's aware of the player playing on top of Cash. Like I said, extremely aggressive play coming out from the Zof or from Ella there. They go ahead and open up the server wall upstairs, trying to grab a little bit of control as they try to flush the Ella out. They are sending a drone into secret, but they may not have seen her. As they send the drone down into blue, I don't think they spotted the Ella in that position and she's going to find another kill she just continues to punish them they are just missing the drones so narrowly they are should have had the intel on the ella there but uh, nonetheless they didn't and they will be punished for that now the attackers are sitting at a 5v3 as Ella runs out from secret but now she's given her a position away to the attackers they will more than likely Find the pick here, but Havana's going to back off and open up the hatch. Knock, knock. Ella does prepare for anybody running into the secret stair there. Sophia trading some shots, possibly with... Rummer playing up top, but no damage coming out from Zof. 
They will continue to work on the barbed wire, sitting on main stair. As they look to grab some type of map, controls were a minute into the round, and they have gotten very little. All right, and Zofia is going to get four kills on the round now. Spinning an absolute thorn in their side. Looks like Zofia was down on main stair, and that first round is going to be flawless for the hated knights here. Or, I'm sorry, for Revenant's Esports. And that's going to be a very strong show of the church arsenal hold for them. So they'll probably move up to CC server now. Or sorry, cash and server. It's hard to tell whether that was a strong defense or is that just really good plays coming out from the Ella there who just like, caught the entire attacking team off guard with her aggression. Playing the close angles with that shotgun between stock and secret. Really nice job on, our, on her end. He really shaped the way that round moved forward for the defense there. See the sixth pick off of Vigil. To the Kaid. We're going to see Hibana move over to the IQ, leaving just the Thermite as a singular hard breacher. Could prove to be difficult. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attack. Especially on this cash CC hold here. But they do have confidence as Thatcher still is on the board here, so that will give them a little bit more ease at dispatching at least the first round of utility that they use to deny the hard breach on that wall. We're going to see them opening up some angles. I imagine for the smoke to toss his canisters through, or possibly even stand up on one of those tables to find some angles looking over at server or out in balcony. Five seconds. Throughout the attacking round here, I do imagine we're going to see Thermite head on over to that server wall. Oh, no. Along with Thatcher to see if they can't get that open in the earlier parts of this round. To apply some pressure on the defense. Once you get that wall open, it does kind of create a split between sites. Makes it a lot harder for the defenders to find any rotations into garage. Support anybody playing on that balcony. It looks like they do have a run out prepped here coming out of garage though. Jaeger wants to run out from garage door. He's trying to wait for the right moment. He's actually going to find it. There goes Twisty. And that's going to be the Thatcher off the board. But they did already get the wall open, I do believe. So it's not going to be too big of a problem. But that does put them in a 4v5 situation. Oh, two minutes left. They are looking pretty good to get that server wall open, and they already have somebody pushing through Master looking for construction control. They're probably going to confront the Kai-E playing in construction right now. She is distracted by the drone. Sophia swings right in and gets an easy kill into construction. And gets a second looking on the cash there. A beautiful shot, but Grinch is going to find one of his own as he finds his second on the round. Back on Garage Balcony. Getting pretty aggressive looking outside the server window here. So he is aware there is a player. Oh. And he's going to get peaked through a really tight angle, and that's going to be three on the round for Swimmer. He's going to look through server into cash for any possible angles onto the player playing with Insight. They know there's one in Master. IQ rotates through logistics, trying to catch them within Master Bedroom. Extremely nice shot coming out from the IQ, catching the player inside of Master Bedroom. IQ goes down, though. This is a 1v2. Echo has plenty of utility, and I'm sure that these cams are going to be plenty useful for him as teammates continue to mark as they look for the plant. Now, with any luck, he's probably looking to grab a pick, but he's going to deny the plant first here. Hermite will feel the effects of that yokai momentarily. He was unaware that they had gotten the yokai, or he was either trying to switch to his secondary yokai. Zofia just pushes up and grabs, I believe, her fourth kill on that round. Really nice job from Swimmer. And we're going to see two really big performances coming out from Swimmer and Grinch to get the first win for both of these teams. So neither team really finding their footing on either of these rounds, but... 
Big individual performances will pull them through nonetheless. All right, they will be heading back into cash and CC. Going to see a pretty similar setup, though I do believe they have Doc in the mix now. As opposed to Smoke, I believe was used in the round prior. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs Definitely bringing a little more fracking power to the board. Maybe not finding as much use out of the utility for Smoke as they'd like to. So he can be an extremely useful operator in the late moments of the round. As he can deny the attackers from an area momentarily for about 10 seconds. It's like they will reinforce part of logistics wall this time. Beating rotate into cash. Now we're going to see Grinch playing pretty aggressive on the first floor here. He's had a lot of success in the first two rounds. Already with six kills after just two rounds. He's going to look to keep up that pace. Okay, huge kill coming out from the dock there. And it looks like he was just peeking through garage door. And he's going to stay there and possibly find himself a second one. A lot of confidence coming out from the defense here. And they're going to find another kill. And that's going to be Grinch finding a seventh kill of the match already. And he's going to run out of strip. I imagine he ran out of the door looking towards garage. Cover me, reloading. There is somebody down here and unfortunately he decides to peek the corner while reloading and Ash is going to capitalize on that and begin some soft destruction on the ceiling inside of stock. Now we're looking at 3v4. This is still pretty doable for the attacking team. Only one minute into this round. It looks like the Ash is aware of a player inside of garage. Stock has yet to back off. And he will just be holding a tight angle inside a garage, hoping to catch the attackers here as they pass through, trying to find their way up catch stairs. But shooting the drone will give away his position here. And the gunfight ensues. But the Doc is going to lose this one, but the Ash is immediately down and traded out by the Kaid. TCSG. Spending kill through the floor, I believe. Sophia is going to go ahead and open up logistics wall into construction. We found herself getting a 3k last time she took this route. So our situation here is a bit different this time around. Turns around looking for any possible flank. But they do have the Yokai still with Legion and Kaid working in tandem to support him. But the L85 is going to find another kill. That's two kills coming from the Thatcher. Absolutely on fire. He just took an impossible situation and made it possible. Now, as the Yokais are out of use, they will be able to ping for the defenders, but there will be no more plant denial. Thatcher's going to make his way over towards server window. He's kind of masked by the sound of that C4 going off there, but he's going to head, jump right in, and he will be killed immediately by the Kaid. Okay. Now the defense is going to go up around here. They move back down to Church Arsenal, finding success on that cash CC hold finally. We're going to see Goyo come out and play. Breeze will be equipped with the TCSG-12 still. He seems to be playing pretty well with that weapon currently. And they're going to 6th pick onto the Echo from Mazi, which is probably a smart move as that intel is a bit more guaranteed. Though Echo has not been able to find 
the use of his utility in the later rounds as he'd probably like to. Still good to have him on the board. As he is able to use those cameras to ping the or attackers as they make their way in, even if he is down in those final moments of the round. And we will see a vigil come into play here as well. I do believe Mix was playing Doc on the round prior here. And they will be playing pretty aggressive once again as Mix is peeking outside the strip. Already looking for a possible kill coming from spawn here. He spots them over in construction. And he's going to use the SMG-12. Not find any success there. He had the Kia out. He might have done a little damage or the K1A. My apology. We're going to open up Logistics Hatch. Now he's playing mighty aggressive here. If the attackers find him and are able to single him out with just a little bit or just a pinch or anything like that, it would be an easy kill for them. But he's going to root himself within Logistics and at least make it a little bit harder for them to make their way inside. Like we have Grinch playing up in Garage. They might have misdroned. The Grinch is aware of that, and he's going to hold his position within Garage, hoping to catch any attackers off guard as they make their way in. They're going to open up an auto hatch. And with any luck, they will do itch and drop down as well. And with about a minute 45 left, that's pretty good pace. Gives them plenty of time to set up the attack. But. More than likely, we're going to see an impact trick here come out from the defense as Mix finds himself a kill. He's playing all the way up top inside a gym. The attackers are aware of it. They're going to push, but the wall bang comes out and he gets dropped instantly. Really nice play there. That's exactly what they needed to do is grab the pinch, single him out upstairs, and get the room clear. Now they've got a minute left, and they've got... Middle hatch open, still working on that kitchen drop down as the impact tricks did come out. It seems as though they were successful. Habana hesitant to waste any more of these ex Kairos pellets, though. She knows that they are still lie just underneath, waiting for their chance. Looks like the impact trick is going to be unsuccessful this time, and kitchen hatch will be opened up. We're going to see Thermite drop down into Moto. Putting some pressure into Arsenal through the soft wall there. And there's a kill coming out from the Claymore on the Grinch. So they're going to go ahead and catch the late flank on the Claymore. Putting them in a pretty good position. But Henry's going to find one on the Twisty. Legion up with 30 seconds left. I'm sure he's got plenty of goo mines surrounding sight. And that's two on the round for Henry. As Breeze finds one with the TCSG. Now things are looking pretty good for the defenders as they are looking at a 3v1 with just 15 seconds left. The Habana is going to have to push for a Hail Mary play. And as she gets intoxicated from the Yokai, it's very unlikely that she'll be able to find these three kills in the final moments of the round. And that's going to go the defender's way once again. Really nice job from the defending team. As they looked in control of that match pretty much the entire way through. The attacking team did have good pace in the beginning, getting those hatches open and working on the room clear. But unfortunately, the anchors on site were able to hold out regardless. As expected, we're going to see them switch off the cap can onto the Echo. We will also see Ying switch over to Jackal. I'm not sure if we've seen Jackal yet. But even if we have, he's just such a strong oper operator with the combination of the C7. Wow, that has got to be one of the more unlucky things I've seen today as he accidentally fat fingers an impact grenade or something along those lines, I imagine. And now we've got ourselves a bit of a standoff. Extremely good use of utility here. That right there is a quality quality cam, folks. If you were wondering what you should do with that bulletproof cam in a time of need, that's it. 
and we're more than likely going to see the window get barricaded off in gym, allowing Five them to left. trick with the Kaid, possibly, but no bandit here, so Kaid will be their only line of defense for that hard breach denial. And they will spawn shipping dock, looking to make their way up to hot tub balcony rather quickly, I imagine. And we're going to see another early kill come out from Grinch. Grinch and Mix have been all over these early peaks, looking to give their team any advantage in the early round possible, and it's been very successful for them thus far, even on low health. Going to threw himself within strip, but the attackers seem as though they might just push forward and deal with him another day. Sophia's gonna swing on in through server. She knows somebody's playing within cash. She needs to be careful here though. As she swings in, they might have somebody peeking through construction, and they do. The wall is opened up from construction. She's gonna pre-fire some shots through the angle, but not finding any damage, but politics will, and he's gonna grab two in through cash. Huge play from the jackal there. Alright, Grinch is gonna find one of his own, but he does go down from the thermite. So Thermite waited patiently, waiting outside Strip, and he found his opportunity, and that will be Vigil off of the board. Now they're looking at 3v2 with about a minute and a half left here, and he's going to open that hot tub balcony, which is going to give the attackers a pretty good position here attackers have recovered their to take sight. Right, Thermite is actually creeping up main stair here with bomb. This is a rather risky position or a rather risky play as the defenders could easily spot him at any moment and isolate bomb from the attackers here. So if you know she's got one inside bathroom and logistics. Pre-fires come out into logistics, but Hot Tub's going to find the kill. Last one's Echo. And he will be... Killed by Thermite within shower. That is a pretty solid attacking round. Once again, even though they risked risked it in an unnecessary manner, having carrier solo push up main stair, they still found the success that they needed in that round. I have actually had that bug come up quite a few times in recent play. There seems to be some sequence of keys that you will press, and unfortunately, after that, you will not be able to ADS with your primary. You can, however, switch over to your secondary. Hopefully they get that patched up soon, because that can be rather annoying to find yourself midway through the round, stuck with your secondary weapon. But we will head to Cash and CC next. See Kaid come out for hard denial here. And it looks like Grinch will stick to Vigil, to and they will actually have Mix on Jaeger. They seem to be interchanging on the fragging ops here. We'll see Echo again as well with Henry on Legion. So nothing too different coming out from the defense rather than a few players swapping roles. Grinch immediately heads downstairs. More than likely looking for that early angle onto the attacking team as he has done so many rounds before. But even with those early picks, the attacking team has still found some pretty good success as they do have two rounds going their way on this first half, which honestly on Clubhouse is not all that bad. Attackers must locate and defuse the bomb. See them opening up rotations in the cache. Right now, part of the wall is soft here. It's a very interesting decision from the defense. Imagine they maybe kept part of this wall soft in order to throw some bullets out in order to keep them off guard. Now, Grinch is going to be on this angle again. He's going to find two kills from Garage. Oh my goodness, what a great flank from the vigil. Once again, I cannot believe the attacking team wasn't expecting it. They've been going for these early peaks every single round. They really need to start watching these angles. Half the wall soft. Sophia's going to go ahead and open that up and look to get anything started for the attacking team here as they've already lost two of their most 
important operators for this push, but Vigil gets over greedy and runs out of balcony, exposing himself to the player on top of the roof who grabs an easy kill. This will make things a little bit easier for the attacking team as they try to find their foot in as we near the halfway point in this round. The Inox will come out and grab a scan. That goo will give away his position inside of construction. Solution tucks away behind box. Very nearly, very narrowly missing his shot onto the Legion there. And he's actually going to find it. Legion decides to peek again and he gets punished for it. The scan's already there on Kaid. He's got to be aware of his position. Sends a few bullets his way. Pre-fires through cash, but doesn't find the pick. But it seems that Mix has already got a kill of his own. He's playing over in Master Bedroom. Looking for a flank onto the attackers as they grab construction control. And he will find the success. And that's a double kill on the round for Mix. The Rome has just been so, so strong for Revenant's esports here. And they are going to take another round as Breeze finds a kill outside of server window. Seems as though we are going to have a rehost. So give us just a moment, folks. We will be back in just a few moments with the rehost.
All right, we should be all set to get things underway here again, heading on into our second half. Apologies for the long break there. It seems I have messed up the settings. So give us just a moment, folks, and we will be right back. My apologies once again. This reho should be much quicker for you, so just hold on or hang in there with us for just a moment longer, and we will get this game underway.
all right i do believe we are actually back underway here as i had struggled to get through that rehosting situation but we will head on into the second half thanks for sticking around with us and we will get to see what revenants will be able to do on attack as they found very high success on those deep first six defensive rounds and now we will see hated knights move on over to defense and they will start off in gym bedroom comes as a bit of a surprise as you do expect to see them head over to either cash and cc or possibly church and arsenal they probably hoping to catch the attackers off guard just a bit here with this pick we are going to see buck switch off onto the lion It'd be pretty useful for the attacking team as with a more coordinated team once you make that execute Attackers need to locate and defeat his utility and really be of great use for the attacking team as they make their way in to grab any picks catching the defenders with their pants down They will more than likely invest in this east side roam a good bit. It's typically, when you see teams play within Master and Gym, they invest a lot of their roam game over into cash and server as well. We're going to see Castle reinforce that server wall. Hinder the attacking entrance just a little bit. All right, and we kick off the second half here. We're going to see dual hard breach coming out from the attacking team as they immediately send Habana over to start working on that construction wall. It's a pretty good use of utility and pretty good time as well. As we are not even 30 seconds into this round and the ex Kairos pellets are already hard at work. You see Castle playing within Garage Balcony. Hoping to keep those attackers outside of the Barrage for as long as possible. Seems that they will be sending the Thermite over to Hot Tub Balcony in order to get this wall open here. They will be bandit tricking. They will have the Castle Barricade sitting on gym door. To stop anybody or stop any potential frags coming out from gym window. We're going to see them stationed pretty heavily outside of Master Balcony here. And it looks like Castle is aware of it, searching for the Habana. But Thermite will be getting the wall open now, so this is a very big move for the attacking team as they're going to find a way into sight, applying pressure from both sides. Nice kill from the Thatcher there as he sits on repel of hot tub wall, but Swimmer's going to find one of his own. And that's going to be a kill coming out from the Lion onto Twisty. So we're looking at a 4v3 with min 20 left and Mix is going to find another. That was outside through gym window. He starts working on the master, applying a little pressure onto the Jaeger playing inside master here. More than likely within this push, you're going to pressure into bathroom, single him out as they should. Now they're just searching for the Jaeger and that'll be the final kill. And the first round of the second half goes to the attacking team. The defenders tried to catch them off guard possibly by going to a gym bedroom hold or at least getting that site out of rotation early on for themselves, but didn't have any luck. All right, now we're going to see a much more traditional sight pick coming out from Hated Knights here. The CC cash hold. We're going to have the Kaid and Bandit working in tandem to deny any hard breach coming through that server wall or possibly even on construction wall. As we saw the attacking team last round make quick work of that wall. Then 30 seconds applying pretty good pressure onto the defense or at least letting them know that they are there knocking on the door. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. We will see them reinforcing the garage doors to deny any pressure from the attacking team. So you can get some pretty nice angles looking on onto that garage balcony. 
If they want to do so now, they will have to use some hard breach utili utility. We're going to see if Mazi already have some lux. He finds a drone, gets it set up in a good position in case he dies. It'll already be in a good spot for his team. Continue getting use out of it in the later parts of the round. And we are going to see the Pulse playing on the first floor, probably looking to deny the push inside stock and to possibly deny a plant going on the server rack. As the ceiling there is soft and so any C4s or pings will aid him in denying that plant. We're going to see them open up hatch inside of Moto for any quick rotations in case they are found out. Refire is coming out and actually landing maybe just a shot. Actually going to find the kill onto Ash playing within stock. That's a big kill for the Jaeger. But it does seem that the attacking team is having a bit of trouble finding any or finding a way to open up any angles through this hard breach as the defenders did apply a bit of their hard denial to the garage door pretty smart move on their part but it does seem as though cash wall is going to open up as bandit is nowhere near or sorry kaid is nowhere near to trick this all right and that's a kill coming out from thatcher he's going to go ahead and take site control as the plant goes down and things are looking really good for the attackers but the c4 does come out but not before the plant goes off so now they're looking at a retake situation that is a beautiful shot coming out from thatcher on the cash there as he absolutely actually slams that man and we're gonna see pulse looking for any possible pings onto the attack as they continue this retake jaeger gets aggressive on the balcony the ping goes out onto them and garage he knows he's there he's gonna have to get aggressive and push this angle and he's going to get the kill. This is looking really good for the defense here. But the repel on balcony proves too strong. And that'll be an easy double kill for Henry to finish the round for the attacking team. They continue their momentum in the second half as they take the second round on cash CC. And that is a relatively strong site that we do expect to go the way of the defenders. But the attacker is doing a really great job isolating each of the picks that they were able to find in the early parts of that round grabbing site control once they knew they had gotten rid of the people on site they went ahead and threw the plant down and unfortunately the pulse was not there to deny them that so they will be heading back into cc cash instead of opting for that church arsenal hold and we are sitting at match point for revenants esports Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. All right, we're going to see them go ahead and do the same setup within Garage. As I had said earlier that they would be using Bandit and Kai to work in tandem. Well, it seems they actually sixth picked off of that. They will just be using the Kai with his Electro Claws here. Pretty sure he has dedicated one towards garage and maybe one towards the server wall or possibly just pocketing those until he feels necessary. And no, he does go ahead and set both electro claws out in the same positions. Denying server wall and the left side of garage. Stopping the attackers from grabbing any long angles by opening that up. Attackers do have a Thatcher on the board though, so they should be able to make quick work of those electric walls if communicated properly. Seems that that will be the case. Thermite chooses to go ahead and open up garage wall with an exothermic. So more than likely put those ex Kairos pellets used to somewhere else as he runs over to server wall now. A pretty nice angle looking into stock here as the smuke looks to aid his teammates downstairs with any angles looking through the floor but the iq is going to find a kill onto the mozzie it's a pretty nice kill to get early on as his utility will be a lot less useful for the team now more than likely he did not get all three of those spiders out to grab a drone and that's going to be server wall for the attacking team now Pulse still does have his c4 
calling out the position of the attacking team for the defenders right now. And he's going to swing peek out. Extremely aggressive play, and he does get the down. But they will more than likely be able to find the revive. And as they go ahead and grab two kills onto the defense, they're looking at 5v2 with a minute and a half left to go. And Smoke falls on top of Box, and Revenants take the game. That is a flawless round to end this matchup. Really nice job by Revenants Esports. Now we did expect to see some success as we headed into the second half of the defensive team, but momentum proved to be too much. Finding the win on that gym bedroom really kicked things into gear for Revenants. And they continued to carry that momentum into the upcoming rounds to take the victory in the second half convincingly on the attacking side. Thank you for joining in on the second matchup tonight. We do appreciate all of the support and thanks for hanging in there through the complications during the rehost. We hope you enjoyed tonight's matchup and have a great night.